Grade here with the Churchill 3 replay. Today it is on Siegfried Line. Uh, heavy tank. It's a tier 5 premium. Probably one of the better tier 5 premiums out there. It's got great armor and it has a 6 pounder gun on there with 110 penetration and I believe it's 75 points of damage. Um, quick firing, not really that accurate, but. Uh, for people who are fans of the Matilda, like you know I am, uh, this is actually a pretty good fit. Now, what I generally do on this uh, this map is, in my heavies at least, is headed to town for some brawling. I don't like going out in the field with my heavies. Uh, I believe that's the... Over there is just for the mediums and the lights. So here we have our first light up. I'm not going to be able to get guns on him, but that's fine. And here I'm not too concerned about the return fire from the steward, and I don't know why I'm not zooming in. Enemy armor is hit. Of course, once I finally hit him, then I zoom in. Penetration. And with this uh, quick rate of fire, he is dead in short order. Now here I'm making kind of a rookie mistake. I'm leaving my sight open for that Chiha. I'm also sitting still, waiting, basically begging for their M37 to take me out. Uh, when the Chiha backs up, I figure I can come in and around to uh, help back to the west there. I'm pretty sure he's not going to come back out, uh, but when he does, um, I take him out. My main concern here is to get back up to this plaza to work on that KV-1 and uh, M4. This is, my KV-1 is getting hammered pretty bad over there. Now, a lot of people have a problem petting KV-1s, and it's real easy. There's a portion of their armor right up the front that is almost perfectly straight up and down. It's got a couple of weak spots. Just aim for that and just hammer it. Look at that. Half of that KV-1's uh, hit points gone. Didn't have any any problems panning him at all except for that one bounce where my shot went a little bit high. Now here I should have angled against the Churchill a bit better. There, I got my angle in place. Uh, Churchill 1 against the Churchill 3, it comes down to rate of fire. I've got it, and he doesn't. Though he does hit me for a good amount of damage. Now here I think this is where I made the mistake this round. I didn't angle against this M4 at all. I didn't back out at all. I just sat there taking his fire. I knew I could take it, and I knew I was probably going to take him out. But, uh, yeah, he did... Ooh, 250, 300 points of damage to me on top of the 250 that that Churchill 1 did to me put me on really low health for the rest of the round. I really should not have sat there and taken that fire. And I wanted to get around to finish off that KV-1, but this pack 40 is in the way. And here, I know that my KV-1 is behind me. There, I checked to make sure we're, to see he's looking. And I'm trying to entice this pack 40 out, but he's not having any of that. So I back away, figuring my KV-1's got this corner covered, and right into the line of another uh, TD, that saw 40, and the T-15 in the background. I get myself angled properly, and I'm hoping he doesn't hit me, and he hits the debris in front of me, and I'm able to take him out. I see this KV-1 coming around, and I figure my KV-1 and uh, my gun should be able to take him, but I, I don't want to come out, pop out first because of my low health, and unfortunately that costs my KV-1 his life. And then I'm able to start working on that KV-1 again. And ouch, I did not need that hit. I'm down to 42 health. One shot from this back 40 and I'm dead. 
He misses his first shot. I track him, but he hits me with the last one, and I am toast. Uh, if I had not gotten hit, if I hadn't sat there for that uh, that M4 to pummel me, I would have been able to take that hit and probably take out that uh, that pack 40. As it is, let me uh, take control here. The uh, the Chiha uh, basically makes sure that he turns this way, and then that M8A1 over there is going to focus in and uh, take him down. Uh, that leaves the uh, PZ-3A, the M37, and the M3 Lee against uh, five of our tanks. Uh, our guys pretty much have this in the bag, no problems at all. Um, again, this is one of those rounds that I didn't have the stats on. Uh, the stats are pretty clear. I think I saw all of my shots. I didn't take any blind fires on this one, so right around uh, 20... Uh, 2,290 damage on the round, which is not bad considering that uh, I've got to do that roughly, you know, 75 damage at a time. That's pretty darn good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this look at uh, the Churchill 3 on Siegfried Line. Have fun.